Hello, welcome to this Learn Learn tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Python to save to CSV files. So here we have a CSV file with uh, two pieces of data, two rows of data. We've got Fred, who's 44, Wilma, who's 38. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to run the demo project. And let's say we add Barney, who is 42. And now if we go back to our CSV file and reload it, you'll see that it has saved an extra item. There we go. Okay, let's get going. So create yourself a new file. I've called mine test1.py. And first thing we do is we tell it that we're going to need to use the, uh, the CSV module. So we import CSV and we tell it what file that we're going to be editing. So f equals open the name of the file, which in this case is namesages.csv, but you, yours could be whatever you want. Then what you do is you tell it that we want it to open it in append mode, which means add to uh, add to the CSV file, rather than each time we save it, overwrite it. And uh, at the end of it, at the end of each line, oops, we're not going to add a an extra new line. That's really important in Windows. If you don't do it in Windows, it will add an extra empty line uh, in between each one of your CSV items here, which will mess up your CSV file. You don't want that, so make sure you've got that little bit of code there. Good. Uh, and now what we do is, let's say, let's ask a couple of questions. Name equals input. What is your name? There we go. And age equals input. What is your, your age? There we go. So what we do, ask the two questions. Then what we need to do is we wrap them up inside of a tuple. Uh, row equals name, comma, age. And then we write that row. Oops, which we can't do yet because we need to create a CSV writer. So what we do here is we create a little writer by call, uh, writer equals csv.writer. And we give it the file name. So what this means is we're going to use the CSV module. We're going to create a writer which will write to the file. And we give it the name of the file that we're going to be writing to, which we've just done up here. And then what we do is we do writer dot write row. Oops, write row. And we give it the data that we're going to write. So here, writer dot write row, and that's what we're going to write. You can see that it's connected. It knows that that's what it's going to write. And then finally, what we do is we do f dot close. There you go. Now this is really important. There we are. I'm going to put really important exclamation. Um, if you don't do that final line of code, it won't actually save the data that's just written. It's just like editing a Word document or a Notepad document. You might type into it, but until you click save, then it's not going to save it. Well, f.close does the same thing. Okay, let's test that out. So we save it, and let's run it. So it's called test1.py. Uh, so Python test1.py what is your name let's say uh, Bill and 22 and now if we reload the file there you go it's added the fourth person to the file so there you go that's how you write to CSV files thank you very much